If you've been diagnosed with gallstones and you're not sure what to do next, then this video is for you. We shall look into research evidence to see the best course forward. After all, who wants to have a needless operation? And it's okay to be scared about having an operation. Operations can be expensive and you certainly do not want to lose part of the body, which may have some useful function after all. Let's look at this cartoon to understand gallstones. Here's the liver. It produces bile which comes down this tube. Attached to the side of this tube is the gallbladder, which is a sac-like organ which stores the bile and concentrates it. And the bile then travels down this tube to get into the small bowel. Food arrives in the stomach from the gullet and the stomach then sends signals to the gallbladder to squirt down the bile to meet with the food going down this way. At the back of the stomach is the gland called the pancreas that produces enzymes that digest the food. With this background, now let's see what happens when there is a diagnosis of gallstones. What if you do not have any symptoms at all and the gallstones were just picked up on a routine scan for something else? Or that your symptoms are not indicative of gallbladder at all and, and your doctor ought to look elsewhere? In this case, a large number of studies, including autopsy studies where people who've passed away were found to have gallstones which did not cause them any trouble at all and this is true for the great majority of the patients. In these patients, so long as there are no symptoms, no operation is required. Unless in a small minority of patients, a very small number, who have a condition called primary sclerosing cholangitis, which is an inflammatory condition of bile tubes, which increases the risk of cancer if there are gallstones, or if there are gallbladder polyps, or in special circumstances, for astronauts or those climbing high mountains or patients with chronic conditions requiring multiple abdominal operations such as inflammatory bowel disease may sometimes benefit from a prophylactic removal of their gallbladder. No stones, so no symptoms, no operation, period. What if after a fatty meal, a stone impacts right here in the neck of the gallbladder, making it difficult for the gallbladder to get rid of its contents and bile giving rise to biliary colic. So this is uncomplicated gallbladder pain where after a while the stone will fall back and the pain will relent. If you are at this stage, that is you have not suffered a severe complication, should you have an operation now? I would say it is not unreasonable to consider having an operation while your symptoms are still mild because once they start, a quarter to half of the patients will get severe symptoms over five years and these may be recurrent pain or a complication and a third of the patients will develop a complication over the long period. That said, a third of the patients may never get another attack of gallbladder pain and may live the rest of their days quite normally. Now, the important bit is this, 90% of the patients who do go on to develop a complication are given a fair warning by the gallstones with mild symptoms to start with. So it is very unlikely to go into a severe attack or a complication with no previous warning whatsoever. So if you are at the biliary colic stage of the gallstones, then removal of the gallbladder will prevent future complications and the risk. Understanding that in a smaller proportion of the patients, Future symptoms may be either mild, may not arise, or may be controlled with diet by avoiding fatty food and dairy products. What if you've ignored your biliary colic and time has moved on and you have been one of the unfortunate patients who has developed a complication, such as acute cholecystitis, where a stone impacted the gallbladder but then did not move, resulting in acute cholecystitis, which is thickening of the wall of the gallbladder inflammation or infection in the gallbladder or what if the stone migrated out into the bile tube and now has caused an obstruction of the bile tube leading to pain or infection which is a dangerous condition called cholangitis or what if it is moved further down and set off pancreatitis which is a very painful and sometimes dangerous condition a development of a complication is a sure sign to now seriously consider having the gallbladder removed because the risks are now 
rising rapidly of a further complication arising. Equally, those worried about the gallbladder function have to remember that with inflammation of the gallbladder, that's acute cholecystitis, the wall of the gallbladder is partly replaced with scar tissue so that the function of the gallbladder is affected. I hope this brief video has been of use to you in making your mind up about the timing of gallbladder surgery. If you have any comments, please do share.